there was a question in the preceding video um, about what happens when we bypass an electrolytic output capacitor with a non-polar capacitor. And the question was more or less how does a frequency analyzer um, is able to show us what happens. I have a simple frequency analyzer it goes up to, let's say, 10 kilohertz, perhaps even more, but I didn't test it completely. This is the setup. This is, again, the audio amplifier. This is the loudspeaker. Parallel to the loudspeaker, a small trimmer and from 50 ohms, and the input, the output from the trimmer goes to the frequency analyzer. Now you see a, s a frequency from uh, 1200 Hertz. Here you can see it. And now the output capacitor is not bypassed. Now I'm going to bypass the output capacitor <coughs> with this non-polar capacitor from 4.7 microfarads. So now it's bypassed. And nothing special happens. The whole frequency is transported in exactly the same way. Now the whole circuit is still bypassed and I'm going to switch to 10 kilohertz. And here you see the line on the screen, it's 10 kilohertz and it's still bypassed. Now I remove the bypass capacitor. And also here nothing happens. And now we're going to switch to the uh, square wave oscillator that's here. As we know, the square wave yeah, it has a lot of harmonics, and that's clearly to see here. These are all the harmonics from the square wave. It will be approximately uh, 1000 Hz or so. And now I bypass the electrolytic output capacitor again. Is it on now? Here it's bypassed. And also here, we can't see any effect. Still bypassed. Still bypassed now on a higher frequency from the square wave oscillator. And now I remove the bypass capacitor. So there's no effect on overtones or other uh, audible um, effects. I want to try uh, in another experiment how uh, sound uh, reacts on this bypass capacitor.